Welcome to DD Garden TV. In this program, let's take a look at the methods by which we can get rid of cabbage worms, which cause great harm to our cabbages. First of all, since we call these pests caterpillars in general, we can sometimes make mistakes about their struggle, because we can apply different methods for each pest. There are methods by which we can get rid of all of them, but specifically some applications for some harm, while being much more beneficial, you may not have a chance to get rid of other caterpillars. If there are small holes and cocoons on your cabbage leaves, it is the green caterpillar, if there are larger holes, if our leaves are just the main branches molding, turning into skeletal form, this is the harm of the larger caterpillars, which we call caterpillars. The caterpillars, which we call caterpillars, are most often the larvae of hawk moths. Falcon moths often lay their eggs in garbage dumps. Therefore, do not create a place in your garden that you will call garbage. To get rid of cabbage caterpillars and worms, you can try covering your cabbages. The majority of these moths lay their eggs on cabbage and a mustard plant. The best way to protect our cabbages from moths that will lay eggs on them is to cover them. If you are producing in a small area, if you prepare a device that can cover them, you will have a high chance of getting rid of these moths, and therefore from the larvae. As you know, the vegetables that belong to the cabbage family come in a variety of colors. Although they are predominantly green, there are also varieties with color patterns up to purple, which escape to dark. Try to plant mixed, because cabbage varieties, especially those that are dark, are much less harmful, and if you plant them mixed with other green varieties, you will eliminate the chance of causing at least enough harm to the economic pest to come. Also, if you place the fake butterflies, which you can call so unlikely, brother, but which we can say are much more effective than all other methods, around your cabbage, the other butterflies and moths will not come here and lay eggs. The best way to combat caterpillars that damage cabbages is to collect them by hand, but if you are producing in very large areas, this method may not make much sense. However, if you are growing several varieties of cabbage in your small garden, try to collect them by hand as much as possible. One of the struggles you will make against cabbage worms is the biological struggle. There are two products that we can use. When I say product, they are actually alive. One is a bacterium, the other is a nematode. The entomopathogenic bacterium that we can use for biological control is Bacillus thuringiensis, and the nematode is Steiner nemocarpocapsi. I can say that if you buy these two products and follow the instructions for use on them, you will see great benefits. The bacterium is usually very effective on the larvae, the nemod also has a great effect on the eggs. They are generally also used the size of a spoonful per 5 liters of water, but on the product you buy, there is already an instruction for use. You get a chance to use it that way. There is also the application of neem oil, which you can see the benefits of if you use it, although it is not very effective. You may benefit from using this occasionally as well. In addition, let's not pass without saying, you may not have much chance to get rid of these cabbage worms and caterpillars with advice such as put salt in the water, put nettle water in the water, what to put in the water. Because these applications are usually useless, because the contact is effective and does not have a very lethal properties. There are also some companion planting that you can discourage these moths from laying eggs on your cabbage. If you plant plants such as dill, onion, garlic, lavender together with cabbages, you may have a chance to create a barrier that can keep them at bay apiece. However, do not plant marigolds next to cabbage, which are very popular, but also dangerous. Then there are the parasitic wasps, which are the parasites of these larvae. If you make some applications that will invite them to your garden, you will leave the work completely in the hands of nature, and I can say that it will be of great benefit. See you in another videos. We wish everyone beautiful gardens.